Hey there, it's Esteban again. The time has finally come. Your meeting is taking place soon. Here's a list of the things you need to check before it takes place. First, make sure that the appointment appears as scheduled on your dashboard. If that is not the case, send a reminder to the mentor so that he can fix the situation as soon as possible. Then, make sure you got the confirmation email. If it's a video call, make sure that the link is working and that your video camera is functional. If you are doing this over the phone, make sure you have the right phone number. If you have any doubt about it, just send a message to your mentor. Don't hesitate to confirm your appointment with a professional. Finally, if you're meeting in person, check the address and your journey time so you will not be late. Before the meeting starts, bear in mind that this is the first step leading to a potential long-term relationship with a professional. It is important to build trust right from the beginning. Be respectful and polite and everything will be fine. The last but not least piece of advice before your meeting, be punctual, open-minded, natural and relaxed. The first thing you need to do as soon as the meeting starts is to thank the mentor for taking the time to meet with you and check for how long he will be available, the goal being to respect this timing. It's up to you to conduct the interview. Be the first to introduce yourself, then ask him to do the same. You can then ask him the questions that you've prepared in advance. Friendly reminder, the how to prepare an upcoming meeting video is at your disposal. Remember to watch it again and again if necessary. Listen and don't hesitate to pick up on what he's saying during the meeting. The goal is for the conversation to be as smooth as possible. Take notes during the interview so that you can write the most exhaustive report on it afterwards and keep a record of it. At the end of the conversation, please remember to thank the mentor for the time he spent with you. Once the appointment is over, you will be asked to rate the appointment. We definitely recommend that you fill in this evaluation right after the meeting so that the conversation is still fresh in your mind. To manually trigger the display of the evaluation page, you can click on the Evaluate the Appointment button in your conversation or by going to the Appointment tab and then clicking on the Pass tab. If anything bothered you during the interview, you can mention it to us by clicking on the blue exclamation mark in the top right corner of your conversation with the mentor and click on Report this user. Our team will carefully look into anything you have to say. If you don't have time to fill in this evaluation right after the meeting took place, you will receive an email 24 hours later just to remind you of it, and so will the mentor. You'll be asked to rate the appointment based on three criteria. Was the meeting relevant and useful for your career guidance? Do you see yourself occupying the professional's role in the future? And can you picture yourself working in the same industry as your mentors? It's also possible for you to leave a little note to the mentor. This is yet another good opportunity for you to thank him. We also encourage you to do so because it's a good way for you to make a good impression and make him want to stay in touch with you. As we explained in this video, it is indeed very important for you to stay in touch with the professionals you met and maintain this relationship as it can lead to great opportunities in the future. By now, I'm sure you understand that our aim at Mito Glasses is to help as many young people as possible find their way. And that also involves easing their first steps into the working life thanks to the meetings with our mentors. To sum up, we love helping young individuals find their career path but we feel even better when they get access to professional opportunities too. That is why you will be asked to fill in a section confirming whether you want to be contacted or not by your mentor's company regarding job openings. If you're interested in hearing back from him, you'll need to specify your criteria, type of contract, duration and start date, and confirm your zip code so that the organization's recruiters keep your profile in mind when looking for candidates. This is as good as it gets.